Wind chill advisories and freeze warnings have been issued yet again for your Friday morning. Good Thursday afternoon. I'm your forecaster Deborah Alberto here with your weather update. Yet another cold front is making its way through later this evening into your early morning hours, and that's what's going to be bringing some much colder conditions out of the Arctic, even breezier conditions. That's really the story for your Friday morning associated with this front. Look at this front making its way all the way through the peninsula, and that's why wind chill advisories have been issued all the way down to the north shores of Lake Okeechobee. You can see this is covering and affecting the whole state for your Friday morning. So get ready to bundle up. I know you've been bundled up all week, but it's going to be a little bit chillier for your morning hours. And this is why those wind chills are going to be into the lower 20s by 7 a.m. Not really going to be much of a factor for your Thursday evening if you have any outdoor plans, but check it out by around 6 or 7 in the morning. We're dropping down to the lower 20s and it's going to remain that way for the rest of your day. Here's a look at those lows and those freeze warnings, mainly all of North Florida here. Overall low here in Gainesville, you're 29 degrees and Stark 27. Even in the beaches, you can't escape to as they're going to be into the lower 30s. And as I mentioned before, we're not warming up much more than that. Highs topping out into the mid 40s, 46 in Gainesville, 46 in High Springs, all the way over in Cross City, 47 degrees. And the wind chills for the remainder of your Friday are going to stay into the 30s. High pressure sitting overhead out to the west for your Friday is going to remain those uh, keep those cold conditions overhead for our Friday into our Friday night. Yet another hard freeze watch has already been issued for Friday night to Saturday morning. So stay tuned to WRUF. We'll keep you updated if it turns into a warning for you. But come the remainder of your weekend after Saturday, those frigid conditions on Saturday morning, we finally moderate as a uh, we get into a more westerly flow. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of an onshore flow, not too extreme, but it is going to be enough to moderate us into the mid-60s for the rest of our weekend. I'm going to show you your hour by hour here for the rest of your night, showing you it's going to be quite seasonable for your overnight hours, but come your early morning hours, it's really going to be frigid. Just in time for your early morning commute, don't forget about those very cold conditions with those wind chills into the lower 20s, and then we only top out into the mid-60s before another freeze on Saturday morning and we moderate into the 60s by Saturday.